Hi everybody, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Gold. I'm going to video the process I'm going to go through updating my Bitcoin analysis today. I'm importing data into Motive Wave. So this is a little bit of a how-to for Motive Wave and I'm also going to record the first impressions I get of what Bitcoin's done in the net last month and do I need to adjust my wave count or has it done what I expected. Let's take a quick look at the wave count I have so far for Bitcoin. I've got a problem with Motive Wave. It's not holding the semi log scale. That's better. And let's expand that. It's a bit laggy with the video recording, but there you go. So I have a one, two, three, four, five wave impulse complete to the last high and this data is uh, as much of a bubble as I have ever seen it's just an absolutely classic textbook perfect example of a bubble and bubbles all of them at some stage will burst so that's what I have at the monthly chart level I'm reasonably confident about that and I was pretty Pretty confident around the high and that's exactly what happened oh let's look at that on a semi log scale that's much better this is bitcoins what I call forever trend line let's squish this up so that motive wave can see the anchor points here's the first anchor point and then it's anchored up to here Let's expand that back out. Not quite that much. I wish it wasn't so laggy. That's a word, right? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so it's that forever trend line. That's not actually a technical term, that's my term, but you know, it's been held for the entire lifetime of Bitcoin's price history until it was breached back here. And this looks like a really typical throwback, a back test of resistance. So if we do have, well, first of all, we do have a bubble. That is absolutely certain about Bitcoin, but that's the only thing I can be certain about Bitcoin. It's an absolutely classic example of a bubble. It's probably going to end up in a bunch of textbooks as a wonderful example of a bubble. And the thing we know about bubbles is they will burst, but it's picking what happens as to when they burst and is it going to be a complete burst of the bubble and the death of the instrument or are we going to see a first wave, a deep, deep, deep second wave, and then a third wave? Could Bitcoin revive and cause and create another bubble? That's also possible. The um, wave count here sees the bubble over here and the start of the crash still in its really early stages. Because when I look at it at the monthly chart level, this is around about where I'm expecting it to end up really, really low. And the other thing about Bitcoin's cons uh, corrections is they are very, very deep. This one here, a second wave, it's on a semi-log scale, so it's not that's not really giving you a really good sense of how deep this is. This was 29.92 on the first wave, it was 31.89634. That is a 93.8% correction. So I'm expecting a similar correction. I'm expecting over 90% of Bitcoin's value to be erased in the bursting of this bubble because the only data we have to go on is how this market has behaved for its entire history. And so it seems to be a reasonable expectation to expect those characteristics still are retained in this market, that it has a characteristic of very, very deep corrections. Expecting that this time will be different, I think, would be a little bit too optimistic and not in line with the data. Okay, so if we have an end to a first wave here and we're looking at a 
big second wave correction beginning then at the daily chart level it needs to start with a pretty obvious five wave structure down oh come on hold the semi log scale please mode of wave okay that's better let's expand this out now my analysis today is going to focus on what's happened since the all-time high for Bitcoin so this was the 17th of December and my last piece of data is the 7th of August now I'm going to import data since the 7th of August I'm going to go to Yahoo Finance I've already done this actually I've gone to historical data I set the time period my last daily chart so daily candlestick is 7th of August up to today I've downloaded that in CSV use this little button here in CSV format let's go back to mode of wave let's import it file chart import data find the file where did I put it in CSV format open I'm just going to uncheck all of these import it's just gone sideways okay if we do have a major high in place here from Bitcoin then a new trend at super cycle degree needs to have a clear five wave structure down and I can't see that complete what I'm seeing here is a bunch of overlapping first and second waves so far it's fishing reasonably well into this best fit channel and why can't I get that to anchor point to sit right I'm just going to fiddle around with this a little bit because I want this channel to really sit right that's better okay sometimes if your label for the end of a wave isn't absolutely perfectly placed then your trend line will anchor to where the wave placement is and not the candlestick high or low that looks better okay there's a little overshoot here that's slightly concerning for the wave count but only really quite slightly this wave count is expecting now to see quite an increase in downward momentum and I still can't see a complete five wave structure down this low What's this low? 5537.86 and this is, well it's below that. Mm, I wonder if maybe it could have been a leading diagonal. I'm going to have a go at a an alternate. Let's call this daily alternate, base it on the daily. Make sure, yeah, it's still got a semi-log scale. Squish this back up so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to delete all of this on this alternate and delete this and let's see if a five wave leading diagonal could have been over here which means we could be looking at a deep second wave correction a new movement at cycle or super cycle degree should begin with a five wave structure either an impulse which is much much more likely or possibly a leading diagonal which isn't a rare structure but it's not as common as an impulse okay a leading diagonal may not have a truncated fifth wave okay so this was 10875 this is 11158 so the diagonal could be expanding four overlaps one which it must for a diagonal oh but no this isn't right okay this does not meet Elliott wave rules within an expanding diagonal three has to be longer than one it is three is one 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 five eight one is eight nine nine four great that's fine but five has to be longer than three for an expanding diagonal and this is shorter so that doesn't meet Elliott wave rules I still cannot see a completed five wave structure to the downside for Bitcoin so this is invalid now I guess it could be let's just try and be as open-minded as possible I 
I don't like how squished up that is, but I have to do it to see everything. It could be that the fifth wave of the diagonal is not over. Okay, let's get rid of this trend channel for this idea. And the invalidation for this idea is all the way back up at the all-time high. If we've got a leading diagonal unfolding and incomplete, then when it's complete, we may reasonably expect a very deep second wave correction because second waves following first wave leading diagonals are usually very deep. Let's put our diagonal trend lines in. Oh no, that's... <laughs> okay, no. Okay, so this meets Elliott Wave rules, but it looks absolutely ridiculous. No, diagonals normally adhere really well to their trend lines, and this one, well, pretty obviously doesn't. There's just no way I'm going to publish something as ridiculous looking as that. Okay, well, let's just discard that idea. It's not a leading diagonal unfolding, and the only other possible structure is an impulse and so cycle A maybe unfolding is an impulse uh, what else could be happening here a movement at super cycle degree as I'm expecting here really should be expected to last years it shouldn't be over in just a year and a half a couple of years you really you're really expecting probably over 10 years, at least a decade. A cycle degree wave should last one to seven years. A super cycle degree wave should last uh, 10 years or longer. Bitcoin does seem to be compressed though in terms of time. It's the most, it's one of the strongest, more well, has the strongest movements of any market I've ever looked at. It's really extreme. And so maybe the super cycle degree second wave could be compressed. Okay, I'm just going to spend some more time working on this off camera and I'm going to leave it there and then I'll publish my analysis for Bitcoin for you. I hope this video, I hope you found it um, useful. Thanks. Thanks for watching.